This is part two of the series on the ways that black men make black women jump through hoops to be in relationships with them. In this episode, I want to talk about uh, men who say they're not ready. They're not ready for whatever it is you're talking about. Why can't we just go with the flow? That's what they say most often. What does that mean? Essentially what that means is that if you have needs that you want to be met to make you feel secure in a relationship, there's nothing wrong with having those needs. So don't, you know, don't think that there's something wrong with you. What his response means though is either that he A is confused about what he wants and he's not really, you know, he hasn't really thought about it. He's not clear. That is maybe 5% of guys, and those tend to be very young guys, okay, like high school and college, you know, first, second relationship, they have a lot going on, trying to reach adulthood, and they probably are a little less knowledgeable about women and relationships and life and everything else, okay, so that, that's that category. Once you get into your late, mid to late 20s, 30s, and 40s, and guys start hitting you with that, I'm not ready yet, let's just go with the flow, you need to understand what kind of bullshit you hearing. Because what that means is, A, I'm just enjoying things the way that they are, I'm getting all my needs met, and I don't, you know, I'm not really feeling you uh, like that to make a commitment to you, or B, I'm just, you know, chilling, enjoying the situation, you know, don't rock my boat and put pressure on me to make it different because, you know, this is meeting my needs and screw yours. That's, so it's, it's one of those two things. But are either of those things meeting your needs? Unfortunately, when I ask women that question, they give me this like deer in headlights look and start talking about, well, you know, maybe I need to give him more time. You know, he said I'm putting pressure on him, you know, blah, 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 all this stuff. They start focusing on him and his needs. And I have to bring them back full circle. It's like right now we're talking about you and your needs. You're in a situation where you're loving a man and giving him all your free time. You know, he's calling you. He's worrying the hell out of you about what you're doing and where you are and all this stuff. Yet he says he doesn't want whatever it is you want. With That could be a commitment to, you know, be one-on-one. It could be a serious relationship, you know, giving it the full title. It could be moving in together. Or it could be, you know, getting married. It, you know, it's going to be some, one of those things. And But he tells you straight up, you know, I'm not ready. I kind of, you know, appreciate that when they say that because at least they're being honest. The mistake you ladies make is you don't hear it. <laughs> you you don't pay no attention to what the man just told you. And it's like if his his statements are not in line with your goals for your life and he tells you that, that means he's not the one. That's what that means. He might be a perfectly wonderful guy. He might be funny and sexy and smart and, you know, be a high achiever and all that, you know, be goal oriented, family oriented. I mean, he could have like the whole laundry list. But if he cannot give you the emotional connection, connectedness, the emotional and physical and psychological security that you need to have, then no matter what he is, he's not the man for you, at least not right now. And he's telling you that. You need to pay attention. So, you know, a lot of women get stuck, though. You know, they're like, well, you know, we've been dating for a while. Um, he says he's not ready yet. How do I know if I should give him more time? You know, maybe I should just wait a little bit. Well, my grandfather used to have a saying, wait broke the bridge down. <laughs> and I remember that. So I don't wait. I don't wait for nobody. And the thing, like I said, is, you know, if you're in high school or college, that's a different situation. You have a lot going on and so does he. I'm talking about adult males out of school, fully employed, you know, living on their own. Um, some of them have been, you know, married and divorced before, in and out of serious. I mean, these are grown folks and they know that the woman's intention is to have a serious relationship, at least most of the time. So if he starts telling you, you know, well, I'm not ready, what he really is saying is I'm not ready to do that with you. That's what he's saying. 
you guys need to understand that it's not an indictment of you it doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you it doesn't mean that you're not worthy it just means that at this time in this moment in this situation he is not going to or is unable to give you whatever it is that you're looking for okay so now you have a choice you can stay with him and waste more time in the hopes that he turns around and gives you what you want which 99% of the time they don't or you can say well you know it's been wonderful knowing you um, I'm looking for something more substantial than, you know, just kind of flitting around and having a good time. So I'm going to move on. I appreciate your honesty and thank you very much. And you do leave him alone. Now, even if he doesn't say those words, now see, this is a thing too, because women get stuck on words, y'all. You know, you ignore a dude's behavior and you go with just the words. I'm telling you, you have to kind of do both. I mean, you can hear what he's got to say, you know, if he's saying, well, you know, I, I need to do this, this, and this, and then I'll be ready. Okay, that's at least giving you some parameters. He's giving you a time frame. You know, you know that there's something tangible he's trying to accomplish, and then he'll be ready. Now, you know, if you want to, you can wait, especially if it's just a couple of months or something. I mean, you know, that's up to you. But if he doesn't give you any definitive response, there is no timeline. He just says some old vague shit like, well, you know, I'm not ready yet. And, you know, uh, you know, I'm just enjoying being a bachelor. You know, I'm having a good time. You know, why are you putting pressure on me? Why can't we just let things be as they are? You know, why can't you just go with the flow? Why are you trying to put a pressure on a brother? You know, all this old nonsense that they be talking is yin and yang. If that's what you hear, then you know that a game is afoot and he's just trying to set you up to get everything that he can get out of you. Um, what these guys want to do is have, you know, they don't want to be alone. A lot of they don't want to be alone. They enjoy having the quote, girlfriend uh, in their life, end quote, because that's somebody, you know, provides companionship, some fun, some sex, um, but you know, they're not really tied to her. It's like, that's why I call it the girlfriend experience. Um, others, uh, you know, they're still looking for their Ms. Right, but you do right now as a placeholder. He has no intention to commit to you now or ever. So you need to kind of get real clear on, you know, which type of dude you're dealing with and where his head is. And how you do that is by asking the hard questions. Yes, you risk getting your feelings hurt. Yes, you risk hearing some stuff that you don't want to hear. But it is better to hear it now and move on then get yourself involved with somebody who's never ever ever gonna love you the way that you want them to love you i mean it doesn't matter if you move in with them doesn't matter if you buy property with them doesn't matter now let's talk about this you know giving the mixed messages a lot of guys will do that you know he says he's not ready for a relationship but his behavior tells you that he doesn't want to let you go you know sometimes their mouth even says that you know I, I'm not ready to let you go you know uh, I, that he wants to be friends or he wants to keep talking let's see where it goes you know he still wants to see you even after you break up he's still texting you he's still calling you still asking what you're doing he's still dropping by you know all this kind of stuff this is a very common setup um, you know it's I mean, I, I, admittedly, some guys may not, like I said, if they're really young, they may not really understand what they're doing. But the older dudes know very well what they're doing, and it's part of the game. They want to play this little wishy-washy game because they, you know, their words have told you that it's, it's, it's not going to be more than what it is. It is what it is. That's all it's going to be. But their behavior, they throw that little kink in the works so that you will say, well, you know, he still makes me feel good. He still, I still like his hugs. You know, we're still having sex. You know, nothing's changed. He still treats me like I'm his girlfriend. It doesn't matter what he does, what he says, and what other little games are saying. If he's not willing to make a commitment to you, you know, he's not willing to help your life be the fulfilled and committed lifestyle that you're looking for, then he's not the one. You know, you got to think about, you know, what am I giving up? to be in this relationship with this man, even if you're just friends with him. What is it that it's gonna cost me emotionally, mentally, 
maybe even physically, to continue being, quote, just friends with somebody that you're not, you know, that's already told you he doesn't want what you want. Are you willing to take that risk? You know, to me, this is when it becomes very important to demand clarity. I don't know why so many women are afraid of that. I get letters to my advice column all the time from women saying, well, you know, I don't know what we're doing. And I'm like, well, what you write me for? What the hell? I don't know what the hell you're doing. I don't even know, dude, what you're talking about. See, this is a conversation they should be having with him. You know, not with me. I mean, I can tell him we'd go back to dude, but I mean, you already know that. You have to make these difficult decisions, and I understand that that's what it is. It's very difficult to decide to leave behind somebody that you like. You know, he may be smart. Like I said, you know, he may be perfect for you in every way. But he claims you're moving too fast. Um, you know, he's not ready. He doesn't want what you want. He's not um, interested or he's incapable. And he'll, he may even throw up a whole bunch of excuses like, you know, his kids, his uh, ex-wife, his ex-girlfriend, the stalker, you know, he's between jobs. I mean, you know, they, they could have a very, re- you know, a very plausible ready-made list of blockades to his heart. Uh, understand those aren't going anywhere. You know, they, I mean, you can stick around, but why would you do that to yourself? He's not ready. And there's no way to know when he will be. You could be messing around with this dude for 10, 15 years and still never get what you were looking for and be, you know, older, have given him all your youth, all your time, and all your beauty in a situation where you're not getting what you want back. So, um, you know, in my in closing, I, I think no woman needs to wait around for a man who's not ready and he has no plan to be ready anytime soon. If he tells you that he's not ready, believe him. If he says he doesn't want what you want, take him at his word. Nobody knows him better than he does. And if that's what he's telling you, then he's telling you the truth. And you need to take the steps away from him accordingly. He is not the one. Do not let him play you along, but string you along. Um, You know, keep it access to your body and your time and your heart in a situation where you're not going to get anything back. All right. My name is Deborah Cooper. You can find more of my writings on survivingdating.com and askheartbeat.com. I welcome your comments and look for the next video on this uh, on some other subject. You know, this is going to be a whole series of, of videos I'm doing, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.